So on another note, I mean, there were just so many people making videos now on John Bon Jovi. Now, look, I'm going to admit the truth to you. I am a huge Bon Jovi fan. I mean, I think that John Bon Jovi is probably, if not the greatest rock and roll singer, he's up there in like the top five. And um, look, do I admit to you that there's something going on with him? There is. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he has a medical condition. I don't know if it's, there's something, his, his, his vocals are definitely, you know, there's something going on where it seems like it might even be a medical condition because I was listening to like his most recent concerts, you know, specifically in Texas, but he even admitted he had a sore throat that, that day, but it just sounded like the tonality, like, you know, he wasn't singing in key, you know, it, it was almost like he was like, you know, really struggling to just stay, stay in key. And I understand it, but this is why I was trying to make a point when, when, when I said that, you know, I wouldn't go to a Bon Jovi concert now, or I wouldn't go to a Billy Joe concert now. It's just because I understand that they're older and, you know, that's it, you know? Like, would I go to have fun? You see people, like, they take words and they twist it with me. Of course I would go to a John Bon Jovi concert and have fun, have a couple of beers. Of course I would go to a Billy Joe concert to have fun. But the thing is, I respect them too much. I grew up with them. I grew up with John Bon Jovi's music. I grew up with Billy Joe's music. So I just, I have the highest level of respect for them. And you know what it is? I just won't criticize people who are legends. I can't do it. You know, I mean, I, I understand it. Look, you listen to, this is not being critical. This is just trying to at least show that I'm trying to be fair on both sides. I understand that there is very, very strong evidence now that John Bon Jovi's voice, there's something going on. I'm not being critical, but it's obvious, you know, this isn't something that it's like, you know, even like my wife even noticed it. And my wife was saying, you know, maybe he has a medical you know, condition. There could be something that we don't know. But again, no matter what it is, I wish John Bon Jovi the best of health and, you know, happiness. He already has, uh, you know, I I'm, success. He's got the highest level of success. I mean, the guy's probably the most uh, successful rock and roll star in history. I mean, my God, how successful John Bon Jovi is. You know, he, he takes success to a level that we could only dream about, regular average people. He accomplished things that were incredible and so did Billy Joel and so did Elton John. They're all legends. And that's all I meant. All I meant was, look, I would go to a John Bon Jovi concert, have some drinks, but I'm not gonna, I don't know, I'm not gonna be critical. The guy's been touring all around the world for like what? Over 40 years. The guy's been selling out arenas, you know, multi, multi platinum, you know, albums. He's, he's, he's done enough. I mean, at this point, you know, I just think they do it because they just like these rock stars like that are at the highest level of success, like Billy Joel. Billy Joel admits it. You know what Billy Joel says? He goes, I love classical music. Billy Joel listens to classical music. I don't think at this point in his life he wants to do rock and roll anymore. I think he does it because I think they're used to making a certain amount of money. They're used to making like 50 million a year. You know what I mean? And that's what they're forcing themselves kind of like to just keep doing this. They really are. I know Billy Joel would prefer to just at this point... You know, he doesn't write any more music with lyrics. He writes instrumental music. You know, and I think if it was up to him, I think that he would just prefer to do that. Just, you know, focus on classical music, but that's not going to pay him $50 million a year. <laughs> and it's the same thing with Bon Jovi, you know. They do it because they're used to a certain lifestyle. But I understand that these are, like, it's our heroes. So, we, you know, it's like, you know, like um, Happy Days, What's that guy's name? Uh, Henry uh, Winkler, right? Right, who played the fonts. You know, it, you get to a point where, you know, I remember one time, like, uh, 
my uh, I think it was my uncle who said it. You know, my uncle Joe. He was like, you know, we hate to see our heroes get old. And you know, you look at the Fonz now, Henry uh, uh, Winkler. He's old. He's an old guy. He's an old man. And you can't look at him like the same. He's like, is that the Fonz? Is that guy with the gray hair who looks like like an old man, the Fonz? So it's the same thing is happening with Bon Jovi. He literally has old gray hair. I mean, I don't know why. You know, he doesn't at least die that, right? <laughs> He's just, his full head is, is all gray, which again leads me to think, I mean, listen, look what happened to Bruce Willis. Who would have thought in a million years that Bruce Willis would have had a, a cognitive problem, right? Where he's like, I, I think he's, it's something to do uh, with, the, with the function of the brain, right? Where it could be like similar to uh, like, uh, you know, um, dementia or something, right? I mean, it's no joke. It's like a really serious condition. Who would ever thought that would have happened to Bruce Willis? So listen, our heroes are getting older. That's that's it. And when you get older, sometimes you have medical conditions, sometimes things happen. But, you know, we can't forget the decades and decades of amazing performances. I mean, my God, that job John Marjovi did. You know, I was just listening to a video of him. It was in 2019. And he was singing Always, which is a very hard song to sing. And he was doing it in the original key. And this was in 2019. Was he struggling? Yes. But did he pull it off? Absolutely. So these things that we're starting to see are just recent things with John Bon Jovi over the last year or so. I don't know. It could be, I'm not a doctor. I have no idea what's going on with his uh, vocal cords. I have no idea. Okay, so that's something a doctor would have to, you know, it could be a private family matter. The doctor would have to, you know, obviously diagnose. All I can tell you is this. He'll always be a hero of mine. He's a legend. I have the highest respect for John Bon Jovi, and I just think we should all treat him with respect. And that's all I meant. You know, everyone twists my words where they were like, oh, you wouldn't show love for Billy Joel. I be, You can't show more love, right, John? How much love have I showed for Billy Joel? Oh, I mean... God. I bought every album. I I went to so many concerts. I I had a Billy Joel tribute band for years. I have the highest level of respect for Billy Joel and Bon Jovi. God bless them both. They're both legends. And just always remember that. You know, just don't, you know, be so judgmental. You know what I mean? Don't be so judgmental. People get, people get older. People get medical conditions. And you got to stop. Like, all these YouTubers are just ripping Bon Jovi apart, man. Leave the poor guy alone. 